$4 smart home. That sounds exciting. So, this is ESP8266 chip. It, it's basically just like Arduino, although you can program it via uh, Lua script. And uh, this one is pretty special because it has Wi-Fi. It's also pretty small. As you see, it's roughly the size, size of an SD card. So, uh, I made a a software for those chips called NodeMCU Minion that you can install and it will uh, create an access point and you can configure it over Wi-Fi. Uh, it has uh, all the basic functionalities as um, a switch or uh, controlling LEDs and I have an app called Firebase of Things to control it. So uh, all that setup is controlled via a free Google Firebase account which is pretty awesome. And yeah, check out my app. My FireNet of Things application. The name is fitting because it's built on top of Google Firebase and it can go up in flames at any point. So use it at your own risk. Uh, we have a devices and triggers. So one of the devices I have is the rainbow lamp. Uh, it's basically an LED strip uh, that you can control. Uh, so for example, we can set up a lightness. Mm, we can change the hue a bit. We can switch it off. Uh, so the lamp was designed to provide a gentle wake up. Mm, it was uh, built to simulate sunrise uh, by going through from reds to yellows to, to blues. Uh, there's a Philips Golight Blue I believe uh, which does similar thing, uh, uh, things and um, this method of waking up is uh, physiologically proven to, to be a little bit gentler than the uh, than the than your iPhone basically that you have to 73 times um, uh, put back to sleep and and uh, uh, provide stressful morning. So I wanted to have a sunrise in the winter months. Uh, so it's not really simulating sunrise, but there's a and the triggers are sequences of events. So there's a trigger called rainbow. Uh, it just goes through all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, so, uh, so you have uh, it's you can see it's black now, and let's let's trigger rainbow then. Uh, rainbow goes through all these colors, and you can see the preview in the devices. See how it's how it's going. Uh, you can see it live and uh, preview on the device. Um, every device have also a off button and this indicates the state when device is disconnected there is a huge red disconnect here so you can see the preview uh, the other sequence I have is um, is leave leave my home and the sequence basically turns everything off so it's connected to my EFTTT uh, and I can trigger it by any request. I can press it manually, but I can also uh, use HTTP request to, to trigger it. This is a, uh, a chip. Here you can have power source. I connected it to existing uh, installation. It's basically a relay power source and this chip. So here's the lights. Uh, and I'm turning it on right now with the app. Bam! Turning off. Bam! Triggers. So, triggers are sequences of actions performed on devices. And what's interesting about them, you can um, make a queue uh, uh, on a device, for example, 
as it's used to change colors but also you can uh, create a token for them and then call them from uh, any any HTTP enabled device or service so uh, Google Firebase serves an uh, API endpoint you don't have to you don't need to um, have a device that's that's visible by the cloud you can push a request to uh, uh, to Firebase uh, you can protect it and uh, by a token and that's what I did so I created a a test trigger and uh, I it's a mirror copy of my other trigger so it's hooked up into EFTTT so for example when I leave uh, Halthorn Street in San Francisco which we can call my home uh, it will make a request to, to this URL and uh, dispatch the trigger that way uh, I have enabled uh, turning off of my lights at home which I'm terrible at and uh, I am a terrible human being I waste electricity so by dispatching this trigger uh, uh, it automatically turns it off and I installed EFTTT iOS app and it works the lights are off when I leave uh, so as you can see uh, both the devices are on right now and when I dispatch this trigger the devices will be off lights in the living room are pink polling for changes and it's off. Mm -hmm.